This video is based on bacterial forging optimization algorithm. In this video, we will try to understand how this algorithm is working step by step with numerical example. As everything related to this video, we already discussed in the previous video as you can see here. In this video, we already discussed what is this algorithm all about, how it is working, various mathematical models used in this algorithm and all. For more details, you can check this video, link is given below in the description box. Right now, in this video, we will try to understand how this algorithm is working step by step with numerical example. So in this algorithm, we will follow the certain steps as usual. So first step, as you can see here, parameter initialization phase. Here we will initialize all the important parameters used in this algorithm. For example, you can see here we have certain parameters and denote the dimension that is the search space dimension as denote the population size that is the total number of search agents or bacteria we have in the current population. Next we have NC that is used to denote the chemotactic steps performed in this algorithm and NS we have the swim steps and then we have reproductive steps elimination and dispersal steps and then we have the elimination probability and C denote the step size for the bacteria. So for example in this algorithm we will consider the population size 4. So value for the bacteria or search agents we have 4 and search space dimension as you can see here we have 5. So we have 5 dimensional search space and we have the 4 search agents and you can see the chemotactic steps we have two swim steps we will take one reproduction step two elimination rate we have four so here we, this is the maximum number of iteration we will repeat the loop four time and after that we have the elimination probability 0 0.9 and then we have the constant step size that is 0 0.01 now as you can see here we have the four search agents or you can say the four bacteria. So now we will initialize the population for the four search agents. So this is the initial population for the four search agents and here the lower bound upper bound we have minus 30 to 30 and you can see we have the five dimensional search space. You can see we have five dimension four agents in the current population. So we have the population, this is the initial population for the four search agents in the five dimensional search space. After that we will calculate the fitness values for the each agent in the current population. So right now in step 2 we are going to calculate the fitness values for the current population. So here we are using a function you can see here, we are using this function to calculate the fitness values for the each individual in the current population. This function represents the cell to cell signaling of the E. coli bacteria. So we are using this to calculate the fitness values. Now we can see here. So you can see we have the initial population. You can see four agents. Now we are here. First we have the value for I1. It means we are going to calculate the fitness value for the first bacteria. You can see here for the first agent and then you can see value for D is 1 to dimension minus 1. We have dimension 5, 5 minus 1 we have 4. So we will calculate the 4 fitness values for the first bacteria. Done. So right now you can see value for I we have 1 and then value for D is 1 and put all the values here we have x i d plus 1 value for i is 1 you can see here value value for d is also 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 so here we have x 1 2 next you can see minus value for i we have 1 d is also 1 and here again you can see i is 1 d is 1 now you can see we have this one and the value for x 1 2 you can see we have the first search agent position so value for the x 
one two you can see here one two is this one twenty eight point two three nine four value for x one one you can see here five point zero two seven two put all the values here and we will obtain the fitness value for the first search agent when d is one so this is to compute the fitness value for the first agent when d is one we need to compute the value for d is equal to one two three and four after that we will switch to the second agent so here you can see when the d is two i is one put all the values here when i is one d is not two so two plus one here we have three and value for x one three you can see here x one three that is minus seven point eight four seven nine and then you can see we have x one two that is this one and here when d is three i is again one put all the values here i is one d is now three plus one that is four and the value for x one four we have seen the matrix that is this one minus seven point nine three nine zero done and this is for when d is four i is one so we computed here you can see for the first agent we computed the four fitness values now we will exit this loop and now we are here increment the counter now we will compute all the value for the second search agent here we have now value for i that is two we have four agents in the current population so here you can see value for i is two and then value for d is one two four and then you can see here put all the values i is two now and d is one plus one that is two and value for x two two you can see here this is this one minus zero point zero four two one put all the values here and this is for when i is two and now d is two d is three four so like that we will do for all the particles for all so like that we will do this for all the bacteria after that again we will exit this loop now value for i is three and then we will compute the four fitness values and then value for i is four and then you can see we will compute all the values for four search agents and you can see here we are getting the four fitness values but as usual we need just the one so we will consider the final fitness value that means when d is four so we will consider the last fitness value for each search agent as the final fitness value done so here you can see the we got the initial fitness value for all for four search agents this is for the first agent for the second one third one and for fourth one so now we have the initial population and the initial fitness values for the four search agents now you can see this is the main loop now we will come inside the main loop for bacteria for zinc optimization algorithm here you can see this is the outer loop that is the elimination and dispersal loop then we have the reproduction loop you can see here after that we have the chemotaxis loop and then we have the loop for the individuals where we will update their position fitness value and all in the search space and after that you can see here we will eliminate the bacteria and replace the new randomly now we will try to understand this main loop it is the nested loop as you can see here and in for this example we have the value for the elimination and dispersal loop that is the maximum of iteration we have four so we will repeat the outer loop four time and then we have reproduction loop and we will repeat this loop two time and then we have chemotaxis loop and we are going to repeat this loop again two time and then we have this for the four search agents so we will repeat this loop four time and then we will obtain the final solution so here you can see we have a number of inner loops and this is the main loop that is the 
outer loop and when this loop is completed stop and when the stopping criteria it means here we have one two four it is done then we will stop and display the final output now we will try to understand how all this is working so first we will perform this for you can see value for l is one two n ed that is one two four so we will repeat this four time next you can see value for n r e we have two so we will repeat this loop two time and then value for n c is two so we will repeat the camotaxis loop two time in the population size here we have four so we will repeat this loop four time done now value for l is one done move to next value for k is one done move to next value for j is one done now move to next so for the first agent value for i is one it means it is the first search agent now we will calculate the step size so here you can see we are inside the camotaxis loop uh, in this loop all the bacteria will perform the local search and bacteria will move by taking small steps while searching for the nutrients in the search space and this process simulates the movement of E. coli bacteria through swimming or tumble movement as we already discussed so here we will calculate the bacteria's movement first done so for the movement calculation you can see here we will use this equation so this is the direction you can see here delta that is the direction in which direction the bacteria will move and this is the step size you can see here c is the step size and this is the previous position bacteria's previous position in the previous position we will add the step size and then we have the direction for the bacteria and then we will obtain the new position and right now in this algorithm bacteria's movement is done through swimming and tumbling now for the first agent you can see here this is the previous position as you can see here in the initial population this is the first agent's position and step size we have 0 0.01 and this is the direction delta so value for this one is computed as here you can see and then we will compute the new position for the first agent and we got the values here you can see now we updated the position for the first search agents you can see the change in the values this is the previous position and here we have the new position and we know when we updated the position now we will update the fitness value for the first search agent and again we will calculate the four values see here we, we calculated the four values and now we will consider the last value as the new fitness value for the first search agent after that we have the swimming step for the bacteria here we will compare the cost that is the fitness value that we computed here and that we computed here that is the initial initial fitness value is compared with the new fitness value that we computed here so now we are going to compare the two fitness value that we computed before so new fitness value you can see here we computed is this one so if this condition is true then we will consider the new value and we will update the position else we will move the bacteria randomly right now you can see here condition is true as you can see here the new fitness value that we obtained is better as compared to older one so we will consider the minimum value as the better solution so here we will consider the new value as the new fitness value and then we will update the position now position is updated done and again we will come using this position is updated and again we will compute the four fitness values for the first agent and then we will consider the last one as the final fitness value after that again we will do for the second agent as you can see we performed all these operation for the first search agent now we will move to the second one 
As you can see here value for i is 1 2 4 so we need to perform all these for the four search agents and for the first search agent we perform all these operation now we will do this for the second search agent and this time value for i is 2 and all the values you can see here 1 1 1 and here we have i is equal to 2 again we will repeat all these steps calculate the step size using this here this is the previous position put the value constant size and the calculate the direction and after that we obtain the position and then you can see here next step we have the fitness value comparison so here we will compare the new fitness value with the older one right now you can see here condition is false so we will move the bacteria randomly and right now we will use this one and we updated the position for the second bacteria and updated the fitness value and we obtained the new fitness value for this second bacteria is this one see the difference is here when we updated the position and the fitness for this bacteria so in this case we have no change in the direction so delta value is same as it was before for the first agent but right now here we have the random movement for this bacteria for the second agent so right now we will compute a new value for the direction vector so here we have the new value for the here first we will compute the new value for the delta and then put the values here and then calculate the new position that is the updated position done so in this case we will consider the previous value for the direction that we used but in this case we will compute the new value for the direction and then put all the values here and you can see we got the new position or you can see updated position we are here so like that we will do this for the third agent and then for the fourth agent then we will got here the updated position and you can see the updated fitness value for i one to four now you can see we are here as we perform the operation for i one to four now we will come out from this loop and when we will come out from this loop we are here now we will increment now value for j is two done i is l is one k is one j is now two now j is two come inside again perform all the operation for i equal to one i equal to two i equal to three i equal to four it means for the four search agents as we did previous here everything so again we will do all the steps and you can see we updated the position for the first second third fourth agent and we have the new updated position and the fitness values for the four search agents when the value for j is two now now check this loop as you can see here value for j is one to two we have just we will repeat this loop just two time now here value for j is now two and we updated the position now we will come out from this loop and when we will come out from this loop we have to check the agent's health and then we will store the best search agent so now we will check the agent's health and how we will check their health so in order to check the health status of for any bacteria we will add or sum up the fitness values that we computed in their lifetime it means we will add the values it means we will add the fitness values first we have the initial fitness value and then we have the two updated value when j is 1 and j is 2 as you can see here we are going to check the health status for the first bacteria so how we will check the health status for any bacteria first we will sum up all the fitness values that we computed throughout their bacteria throughout the bacteria lifetime so first we have initial value we will add initial value plus updated fitness value here you can see for the first bacteria this one 
plus phase 2 you can see we got the value this one so we will sum all the values you can see here we obtained throughout the bacteria's lifetime so here we got the new value for the health status for this bacteria like that we will compute the health status for the rest and you can see the values here after that we will arrange the bacteria in the ascending order so here you can see we have the at top we have the first bacteria and this is the best bacteria among all and then we have the third bacteria that is the burst bacteria among all so now we you can see here so now we'll come out from this loop and we computed the health status for the bacteria and we will store the best search agent and after that we will come out from this loop and when we will come out from this loop you can see we are now here so this is the reproduction loop now again in now again value for k is now 2 and we will again repeat the chemotaxis loop and the for all candidates again we will perform all the operations you can see here value for l is now 1 k is 2 j is 1 done j is 1 done now i is 1 to 4 so you can see we updated the position and the fitness by performing all the operation that we already did the compute the step size and then compare the cost and then update their positions so here you can see this is the final output when j is 1 now j is 1 we computed all the values for i1 to 4 come out from this loop again we are here now value for j is 2 we again updated the position and the fitness now we will come out from this loop as we come out from this loop we will check the health status and again we will sum up the fitness values for all the agents throughout their lifetime so for the first search agent how we will check the health status initial fitness value plus this one when j is 1 plus this one when j is 2 and we got here this one this one and this one so after that arrange them in the ascending order and you can see we have the best bacteria now third one and the burst is fourth one and then we have the optimal solution that is the third bacteria and the burst one is the fourth bacteria now we are here we computed the health status and bestow the best agent now we will come out from this loop we will come out from this loop as value for k is two times so this loop is two times repeated now we will come out here we have the next operation that is elimination and dispersal step here we will eliminate the bacteria using the probability value now we are going to eliminate the bacteria so here you can see the probability value we have 0 0.9 and r is the normally distributed random value that we will use here within the domain 0 and 1 so this is any normally distributed random value so we will check whether the random value is greater than or equal to the elimination probability or not if this condition is true then we will update the position and the fitness value for the search agent and if this condition is not true then we will keep it as it is so for the first bacteria suppose the value we have the random value this one and right now condition is false so we will keep as it is uh, second bacteria you can see here random value is this one and here condition is true as this one is equal to this one so update the position again and fitness value we got here this one for the third bacteria condition is false so keep at it as it is and keep as it is now we will increment the counter for the loop here you can see main loop we have one two four so increment the counter now value for loop is two and k is one j is one and this is one two four value for i is one two four and this is the population size this time for the second loop we will use and fitness values 
so put all the values for the second loop third loop for loop and repeat all the operations and for example here we computed all this for the first loop so here we obtained the best solution as this one that is the third bacteria in the burst solution is this one so like that when you will repeat the loop four times you will obtain the optimal solution like that here for the first loop we have third bacteria as a optimal solution so here you can see first so we will repeat this loop four time so that's all about this video so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video